Hey gang, Ross Brand here for Livestream Universe. We're going to take a look at live streaming to Rumble. Rumble is an alternative to YouTube. Uh, some people could, might multi-stream to both platforms, but Rumble's become uh, a place. It's about free speech, a free exchange of ideas, not as competitive uh, for eyeballs as YouTube is. And so it's another option for uh, live streaming, for building a following. And it's something I'm just testing out to know about it, see whether I'd like it as a live streaming destination or not. Uh, so I'm going to take you through the process. In order to live stream on Yum Rumble, you got to create an account. Again, much like YouTube, uh, you create a channel. And then in order to have the right to live stream there, you do need a subscription of a minimum of $10 a month. You can go month to month. Uh, to get on their basic plan to have the ability to live stream on Rumble. Okay, so you click on Go Live. Now, one of the things you need is a placeholder video. Uh, it's a video that will loop when your stream is not yet available or when it has ended. Uh, you can also set a replay uh, so people can watch it after it ends. So you just go and you find a video. I have an, a little animated open that I did just for this. And from that, you'll get also uh, thumbnail covers. So let me create a thumbnail cover. The video, the preview video is uploaded. Again, instead of just a thumbnail like YouTube, you have this little up to 60 second preview video. Uh, in my case, it's just a couple of graphics uh, for, for this purposes. You fill in uh, the title of your live stream, uh, testing Rumble with StreamYard. Um, this is a test. That's your description. So you get your title, your description. You get add tags. Am I going to stream as live stream universe? Now I'm going to stream as Ross Brand. And when do you want to go live? I can schedule it for a later time, or I can choose to go live right now. Uh, I'm going to hide the replay since I'm doing this just for the purposes of showing you how this works. You click the next button and uh, your licensing options. Uh, you can go live on Rumble uh, and that's monetized. It's non-exclusive, which means you can share it on other platforms. And your rights are similar to YouTube. Uh, or you can uh, set it to personal use, non-monetized, not searchable, available to all your subscribers. So I'm going to set this to personal use. Uh, you can add additional information, who appears on this live stream, where this live stream is taking place. Uh, you need to acknowledge that you've not yet uh, signed an exclusive agreement with any other party. And you check that you agree to the terms of service for rumble and you go ahead and you submit now you get to the page where you get some information here that you can use to attract viewers so one is the direct link uh which uh you can share it's just like a link to the page where your youtube video is so the direct link is the link that you'll share to people that you want to watch your live stream you can also embed it. There's a iframe regular embed code and there's a JavaScript script embed code. Uh, the JavaScript embed code is, is if you want it monetized, if you just want to have a regular embed code, um, you have that option. You can change the width and the height if you want to uh, or just go with the, uh, the standard that they set up and, and you can embed this on, on your website. So again, direct link is for people to watch it on Rumble. It's a link to the page where the video will be, and the embed codes are to put it on your website. Uh, before we get streamer configuration, I'll just show you what happens if you click View Live Stream, and this takes you to the page where your live stream will be. You see Testing Rumble with StreamYard. Um, and then here is the video. I'll just let you see the video. It's really quick. It's just to have a placeholder for now. So that sits there until we go live. People can watch that uh, prior to the live stream. And as I mentioned, it creates its own th thumbnail. 
but once somebody clicks play, it just loops, uh, and and that's that's what that does. Okay, so let's go back to this page. Get streamer configuration. So this is where you're going to get your stream key and your stream URL, your RTMP URL that you're going to put into StreamYard. So we go to destinations. We go add a destination, custom RTMP. Um, we'll give it a nickname so we know to come back to it. I'm going to call this Rumble Live. Uh, so I know it's for live streaming to Rumble. I'm going to copy the stream key, and I'm going to paste that in where it says stream key. I'll copy the RTMP uh, URL. I paste that into where it says RTMP server URL. And uh, there's no server password needed. So I'll go ahead and I'll add RTMP server. So my RTMP, my RTMP, easy for me to say, server has been created. So let's go ahead now and create a broadcast. I'm going to create a live stream. We're going to pick uh, Rumble Live as our destination. The title uh, will be Testing Rumble with SY, and we'll create the broadcast. Okay, so we see our level, our mic is working, we see our camera's working, and we'll enter into the studio, add myself to the live stream. It's showing uh, connection is fairly good. If you're on Wi-Fi, I'm not on Wi-Fi. Okay, so I have everything I need here to go live on Rumble. I'm going to go ahead and click Go Live. Do I want a local recording? Yeah, what the heck. Let's do local recording and uh, broadcast quality 1080p. Okay, let's go ahead and hit that. So we're going live to Rumble. Now I go back to Rumble. It says offline. I'm going to hit the refresh button. And now I see that recording in progress, we are live. I have the option to end live stream. I can embed the live stream. Uh, so there's the monetized direct URL which you can send people to watch it. And of course, there's the embed iframe uh, URL and there is the embeddable player uh, URL. And I can edit the details if I'd like to edit the details. And now this is the live stream on Rumble. See, so we are live on Rumble right now. So welcome if this is your first time catching me on Rumble, and it probably is because this is my first time really doing any sort of live stream on Rumble. I'm Ross Brand from Livestream Universe. I am testing out uh, Rumble streaming with StreamYard. It's a very easy process using StreamYard's custom RTMP to set up. Uh, if I go to my channel here, I can see that uh, I have the video that we're watching now, testing SY with Rumble, and I just click the play button, and there you can see me live. You can probably hear me, uh, so I'll mute the site. Uh, but that's pretty much what it involves to uh, live stream on Rumble. Let me just show you how to end the broadcast. You, you come here, you click end live stream, and you sure you want to end that. Uh, so we'll see that this should end on the page it's probably about a 30 second delay i would imagine um i'm just gonna screenshot that there i wave goodbye let's see what happens when the video ends it says live stream has ended and there it freezes up when it reaches the end there's also like a super chat option kind of thing here uh you can uh and it stays for Two minutes if you do a dollar. If you do $50, it stays for 40 minutes. If you do $2, it sticks for three minutes, five dollars, five minutes, and so forth. Um, so you have those, those options on your video. And if I refresh the page, 
uh, there's no replay available because I didn't set it to be available. And of course, then you go back to the studio and you end your broadcast in the studio. And that went well. Thank you, StreamYard. And there we are. So thanks so much for checking this out. Uh, hope you enjoy live streaming to Rumble if you choose to do so. Take care, everybody.